Hello, did you open Unreal Engine and now you are completely lost? I'm saying this because I was also the exact same a year ago. Well, this video won't really help you much, but I have a few tips for you. Basically, stuff I also had a real big trouble with, and stuff I wish someone would have told me about. My advice will get more useful as we go on. If you're completely new, I recommend watching this video right here from Unreal Sensei. This is not the first tip, but this video is really, really good. And it's also what taught me the basics. Alright, let's get to it. Tip number one, the delay node. This might seem like a really unimportant node, but while developing three projects, you have no idea how much I used it. Because of this, in my opinion, this is one of the most important nodes for creating the flow of your game. It's really simple too. You put it in, put how much delay you need in this box, and when executing, the execution will stop at this node for the time you put in. It doesn't seem like much, but I use it a lot. Tip number two, the get all actors of class node. This sounds way more complicated than it really is. When I started, I had a problem with storing and changing variables. The best place to store them most of the time is the first person character. But wait, if you have a your variable there, and let's say you want to change it when you do something in this other blueprint, how do you change it? Well, you will use the get all actors of class. You will select the blueprint where you have your variables and here we go. This outcome has all variables from that selected blueprint. Now you have to get a copy of that outcome and from there you can get or set what you need. It's really simple and it's just second nature when you manage to learn the sequence. For the third tip, I want to give you some useful shortcuts. For example, holding 1 and clicking, this will create a 0 to 1 value that can be plugged in to change how metallic or how rough the texture is. In normal blueprints, another useful shortcut is B plus click to add a new branch. This saves a few seconds when having to create a branch now. Then there are Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste what you copied, Ctrl X to copy and delete, Ctrl A to select everything, Ctrl Z to undo something, and Ctrl Y to redo something. Then, on your game map, when you have an object selected, press W to move that object, press E to rotate it, R to scale it. You can also press G to go into the game mode to see how the game will look normally, and F to focus on an object. Ok, these are enough shortcuts, let's continue. Tip number 4. Baking Lighting. This is a really important process for performance. When your map is ready, or almost ready, go build it, or if you want to, you can only build the lighting. Every time you make a change, you will have to rebuild them. But this process I found to help with performance a lot. I recommend watching some more tutorials that go more in depth on this subject. And finally, for tip number 5, I want to show you how cooling works. Distal cooling is the process of making stuff disappear when you are too far away. There are other types of cooling too, but they come as default with Unreal. For example, when an asset is not visible because it is behind an object, it disappears. To see that in action, you can type freeze rendering in the console. And to deactivate it, just type that again. Now, for distance cooling, normal assets, you have to create a cooling volume, make it cover everything you want to cool, and put in all the distances you need. When you are that distance away from the object, it will disappear. This is good because it balances the effort between the CPU and the GPU. Now, to cool foliage is a bit more complex, but also a lot more important for performance. When you have a big forest, for example, in the foliage tab, I recommend splitting small foliage like grass from big foliage like trees. The grass, for example, will need to be cooled from a lot closer because it's small and harder to see and the trees will need to be pulled from farther away because they are much easier to see. Select all small foliage you have, go to pulling and play a bit with the value to see what works best for you. Then select the big foliage and do the same. Have as little as a value as possible while making it seem like cooling is not actually happening. And this is pretty much it for the tips for today. I want to thank you for watching and wishing you good luck with your game dev journey. 
so if any of those tips help you. I have a lot more fun stuff coming out soon. So yeah, thank you for watching, see you next time.